flight, uh, flight to the return. And in of the discourses in the popular assembly, what happened is that the actual American majesty just validated the story a great detail of how they had suffered during the entire thing in order to make sure that this doesn't happen. So we can be connected with the idea of remembering, forgiving, uh, as opposed uh, to the uh, South African paradigm. Uh, interestingly, however, in South Africa, there were a couple of nations later on, for instance, the minister, uh, I think, of Interior or something like that, was connected to the jail, although he was never uh, imprisoned, despite the fact that the amnesty had been uh, implemented.
the phenomena. This, in a sense, summarizes what you were saying, for instance, about the universality of emotions or the universality of certain, prob uh, of certain phenomena. Despite this universality, of course, as a historian, I always stress the fact that things are nevertheless different. Anger in antiquity is not exactly the same as anger today because of social and cultural parameters that need to be taken into consideration. But what the value of the Greek paradigm is not to teach us how to behave, but to make us more conscious and more sensitive towards a critical view of phenomena that otherwise might remain unobserved.
international systems of rapid communication and the new international politics of the post-Soviet Union era. But there's little doubt that if Asia and Africa, Europe and the New World are really to come together to form a single global community with a shared system of core values underpinning our legal and political systems, this can only happen by forging a single moral order based on universal principles of a kind that have been in the past anywhere already been embraced and integrated into or uh, embraced uh, or integrated international cultures and education systems. Actually, there's only one system of universal moral, social and political values that is universally embraced, at least officially, and only one which even the most passionate postmodernist philosopher or most rigorous analytical philosopher would be unable to oppose in what most people regard as a reasonable, logical, coherent manner. Only one system that can't be effectively challenged, in other words, and that is the developed doctrine of basic human rights. But human rights are today indispensable to us, philosophically more or less unassailable, and unique in being the only viable moral bridge linking the West, Asia and Africa. It was only after a prolonged period of 